Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel you guys. Today I'm going to demonstrate for you a quick de-puffing lymphatic drainage face massage and the reason why I'm going to be uh, doing that today is because I actually feel like my face is really puffy today. I feel like I have been eating quite a lot of salt. I have um, neglecting myself a little bit so I can definitely feel it and I just came out of the shower and my bathroom is really steamed and I was just going to do it quickly and go to bed but then I know that so many of you um, have enjoyed uh, doing my lymphatic drainage massage for your face and the lymphatic drainage massage for your body and I will leave the links to both of them below. In the body one I use a dry brush and we go through the whole body just draining those toxins out towards the lymph nodes and I have really enjoyed doing that. It's great for your skin, it's great for your um, detoxification of your body and just you know great for your whole immune system as well. With the face one I go through all the motions and you know the lymph nodes um, that we have on our neck and on our face and it's a very very relaxing um, thing to do it's an amazing routine to have and a lot of people if you go into under that video and read the comments you will see that it does have an effect because so many people have had an incredible um, you know incredible kind of response to that video and I'm so so happy that a lot of you are doing it. Today the routine is going to be much shorter and it's going to be quite different because I just don't have that much time today. I want to give you an option of doing it quick. So I've just showered, I've cleansed my face. The cleanser that I'm loving at the moment is this one. It's the Make P Ram, I believe, low irritant and mild acid foam. It's got pH 5.5, which is great for your skin. It's just not going to dry it out, not going to irritate it. Now I'm just going to spritz my face with a little bit of this little guy. And this is the Aurelia uh, Brightening Botanic Facial Mist. The reason why I love using this is because it has magnesium salts and that is like known for its detoxifying properties and that is exactly what we want today. Also, it's got a great fine mist oh, It just smells amazing. The reason why I talk about lymphatic drainage so much, be it in your body or in your face, is because um, lymphatic system is our drainage system. It gets rid of all the toxins. And when that system becomes impaired, the cellular waste basically starts collecting and blocking. And this is what creates puffiness, it can create, um, you know, inflammation. And that is what we're trying to do. We're trying to uh, get rid of that swelling, to eliminate that waste. And you can do that through um, hand and manual massage. So that's what we're gonna do today. I'm gonna use an oil. Um, again, Aurelia, this is my favorite nighttime oil, cell repair night oil. Um, so um, we have um, a few different lymph nodes on our face. We have quite a lot of lymph nodes right here on our neck. We have our supraclavicle lymph node just above our scapula, um, scapula, our clavicle. And we also have lymph nodes in our armpits and our groin area. So these are the areas that we try to massage towards this is where the waste will get eliminated. Uh, so that is where we are massaging. So I'm going to simply start by rubbing some oil into my palms. And then I'm going to start in sweeping motions going towards my clavicles. So I'm going to do a bit of this. So this is just a little warm up that we're going to do. Just to spread the oil and also start getting those lymph nodes working. So we're just going to do a few sweeping motions and then we're going to move on to our neck. So if you place two fingers just here and um, so always stay above your clavicle. So we're going to place two fingers here and we're going to try and stretch our skin to the point where you can feel it but it doesn't hurt. Hold it for a second and then we're going to release. So it's kind of like in a bit of a J, letter J motion. So we're going to do that a few times. When you try it yourself, if you will find that spot where you can just feel that tingling sensation where it's not painful, 
but you can tell where it is. So we're going to do that three more times. And then we're going to move on to the other side. So just try finding very gently, don't apply very high pressure. We're just stretching the skin, we're not pulling, we're just slightly stretching the skin and getting to that point where we can feel it. This is a massage to just deep off your face, bead. Maybe you're getting puffy eyes and maybe you're just feeling a little bit puffy because maybe your sinuses are blocked um, because that creates a lot of swelling as well. You can also place the same fingers above both collarbones and you can, especially when you talk, you can feel those muscles and those nodes almost like contracting. So we're gonna go with 10 circles there. And this is just a lovely routine, um, a little bit of me time that you can have in the evening. Um, we have a lot of lymph nodes along our jaw and then going behind our ear and just in front of our ear. So now we're going to move on to just under our ears. And this is where, you know, when you get sore throat, this is where your glands get inflamed. So these are the nodes that we are looking for. So again, we're going there 10 times. Next, we're going to go onto the jaw, so the jawline, and just find that end kind of when your jawline goes up. So we're just going to go 10 times here. So in a way, this is more of a pressure point massage than a, than a sweeping massage. Um, like I showed you in the other video. From here we are gonna move on to just in front of our ears. So that little um, little cartilage that we have here. So just in front of it we're gonna go with 10 circles again. And we're also gonna go behind the ear, just if you put your fingers behind your ear and you find that bony part, just slide off it and this is where you want to be. So just slide off that little bony part behind your ear. From here we're going to move on to our temples and we're going to do 10 circles here as well. This is just lovely. I absolutely love this. You can go one way, you can then change direction. From here we're going to move on to eyes and just to make sure you still have a little bit of slide to skin but also around your eyes don't pull. Never pull, you have very thin skin under your eyes. So we are going from the temple under the eye by the bridge of the nose and just sweeping across the brows. So we're gonna do this five times. Just very, very lightly, it's a very light pressure. And then from here, going up, just stop below your brow bone. You can either use your middle finger or you can try using your thumbs. Just here applying a little bit of pressure. So if you place your fingers just below your brow and you will feel where it almost curves and this is where you want to apply a little bit of pressure. So hold it for one, two, three and then we sweep to the temples. We go again, a little bit of pressure, two, three, sweep to the temples. Figure out which finger it's easier for you to use. Okay. 
And then on our last one, we're gonna apply the pressure, two, three, and we're gonna sweep it all the way down to our clavicles, so just above. And also do a pinching motion on our jaw. So if you connect your fingers like this, so we're gonna kind of curve our point finger or second finger, and then have that pinching. Um, and we're just gonna go along the jaw line because that's where a lot of our lymph nodes are. And just pinch, you can go fast or you can go slow. But just pinching a little bit of the skin. This is a great one to do in the morning as well. Just wakes you up. And from here, the last one, we're just gonna do a few more sweeps to the collarbone. So you can sweep from your forehead to your collarbone. You can also sweep from your cheek up and to the collarbone, from your cheek up and to your collarbone, and one more from the forehead. And that is me done. Like this is how long it takes. I think it doesn't take that long at all. And it's certainly worth doing. You can of course use tools for drainage. You can use a gua sha uh, or you can use a jade roller. Can't find my jade roller so just showing you the gua sha. I did a demonstration with the gua sha. It's a fantastic tool again to drain um, and it's a really good one to apply pressure. Um, but work on your pressure points as well. Um, I think I mentioned pressure points in that video. I will leave the link to that one below as well. Um, I also have the Nurse Jamie, which is really, really good. I use that one in the morning a lot while I'm brushing my teeth. I just kind of go like this also because it's cold. So it does help to deep off a lot. But that is it, you guys. It's not a lot. So I'm just gonna slap some lip balm on. I'm using my favorite Elizabeth Arden. I completely forgot to put eye cream on, even though I have it standing right in front of me. I've got the Origins one, um, because I was kind of in the middle of my routine, thinking, I'm going to film this. This is another great one for depuffing. I kind of do this one in the morning quite a lot. Um, so yeah, you guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this will be useful if you have any questions at all or anything to say, to ask. Leave it in the comment section below. I hope you are all doing well. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done that yet. And I will see you guys very, very soon in my next video. Bye.